Okay, we are continuing our football club history series. We're going to the Basque Country for this video. We're going to the city of Donostia, San Sebastian, and we're looking at the history of Real Sociedad. Now, the club itself is founded in 1909 uh, by students and workers returning from the UK. There were other clubs that predate Real Sociedad that you know led to its foundation, uh, but the, the, the initial founders were students and workers returning from the UK. Their current stadium is the Anetia Stadium, which seats 39,500. Alongside their Basque rivals, Athletic Bilbao, they had a similar Cantara policy until they signed John Aldridge in 1989, which is a very interesting and important moment because it now means that uh, Athletic Bilbao are famous for the Cantara policy of continuing to sign Basque-based players, whereas Real Sociedad, while they continue to sign Basque players and have a fantastic youth policy, they also sign non-Basque Spaniards and international players. And John Aldridge is that moment in 1989. Now, John Aldridge is quite famous for his time representing the Republic of Ireland, especially in USA World Cup 94, with his heated exchange on the touchline when they're trying to sub him on, alongside his manager Jack Charlton. Uh, also very famous for leading Tranmere Rovers to a League Cup final. Other interesting facts about Real Sociedad. Uh, they were a founding member of La Liga in 1929. Uh, their longest spell in La Liga in the top flight in Spain was 40 seasons between 1967 and 2007. In this period, they win most of their silverware. Um, in fact, the majority of their silverware is won in this period. Now let's have a look at their honours. They were a very, very good side in the 1980s, alongside Athletic Bilbao, who were also a pretty good side in the 1980s. The Basque Country, actually in the 80s, dominated Spanish football a little bit. So they went back-to-back -back La Liga titles, which outside of clubs like Real Madrid and Barcelona, and to a certain extent Atletico Madrid, is really hard to do. Uh, so they're actually runners-up a few times as well, uh, uh, famously to the, the big clubs. So... Uh, in 1980-81, they win their first La Liga title. They back it up in 81-82, so they had a very, very good side in the early to mid-80s. In the Copa del Rey, as Real Sociedad, they've won it twice. Their precursor club, they won it in 1909, but they've won the Copa del Rey as Real Sociedad in the 1986-87 season. And they won it again in 2019-2020. Uh, they've also won the Supercopa de España in 1982. Now, that 1909 um, win, they had to enter the Copa del Rey under a different name. This was due to administration issues. Uh, basically, the Spanish FA uh, had a thing uh, going on and they weren't allowed to enter as Real Sociedad in 1909 for a variety of reasons. Technically, the club that is Real Sociedad have won the Copa del Rey three times. Quirky little thing, that. Now, obviously, their main rivals are Athletic Bilbao. Now, they are less successful than Athletic Bilbao, but this season they finished above them in La Liga. They finished sixth. They've had four appearances in the current Champions League format. They also reached the semi-final uh, in the early 80s, being stopped by the eventual winners that season of Hamburg. So there you go. Um, who the season before lost the final uh, to uh, a very, very good Nottingham Forest side. So there's that. Um, they haven't had as much success as I think they should have. Um, but some great players such as Xavi Alonso, for example, have come through the Real Sociedad youth system. So they, they continue uh, to produce some top quality talent. They will be playing European football. Uh, next season. It's been a while since they've been in the Champions League, mind, but they'll be in the Europa League next season. And there you go, there's a brief history of Real Sociedad. Very interesting club. And as I say, most of their success, apart from their recent Copa del Rey win, comes in the 1980s. As I say, Basque football in Spain in the 1980s was, was pretty successful with Real Sociedad and Athletic Bilbao winning a, a fair chunk of silverware in that decade. So there we go, there's a brief history of Real Sociedad, and uh, we'll have some more videos for you very, very soon. Please place your thoughts in the comments section below, and I'll have some more content for you very, very soon, as I say. But from me for now, it is goodbye.